Well, the tweet operates on three levels. The first is the literal level where the tweet is a threat. Donald Trump is basically saying to Iran, you can't get away with calling us the great Satan anymore. You can't get away with death to America. We are going to start taking that seriously. We're not going to treat it as a normal part of your internal political process. If you threaten us, we may respond. So that's going to put the regime on notice. There are two other levels on which this is operating. The second of the three is that this is equivalent, you could say, to Donald Trump attacking Kim Jong-un on Twitter, which eventually got the two of them in a room to hash out the beginnings of what may be a deal to denuclearize the Korean Peninsula. It may be that Trump, who has long indicated that his preference is for a new deal with Iran, it may be that he's trying to push the regime into a framework within which both sides can come together somehow and improve dramatically on the agreement that the United States withdrew from a few weeks ago. And the third level on which this works is a signal to Russia that the United States is getting serious about the Iranian threat and that Russia would be better off not aligning too closely with Iran. Remember that amidst all of the noise and chaos around Trump's summit meeting with Putin in Helsinki, there were a few observers, primarily at Breitbart and one or two other places, who suggested that what Trump was trying to do was a reverse or inverse Richard Nixon. Nixon helped contain the Soviet Union by becoming closer with China. Trump may contain China by becoming closer with Russia. And Trump may also draw Putin away from Iran. So by embracing the Russian bear, Trump may be increasing his leverage on China and Iran. So this is a signal to Russia that Trump is serious about confronting Iran and has staked his personal credibility on being able to do so and that Putin could cooperate by, for example, voting against Iran at the United Nations or not defending Iranian troops if they get to parts of Syria that the United States doesn't want them in or by not building new nuclear reactors in Iran or something like that. But Trump wants to start to shake that relationship up a little bit and make Iran more isolated. That's an excerpt from my daily TV show, The Ezra Levant Show. Normally it's behind a paywall, but I thought you'd like this video, so we put it on YouTube. Uh, if you want to subscribe to watch The Daily Show every day, including always two interviews a day and I read my hate mail, just click on this screen and become a premium member.